going through a physical war and a spiritual war. We gotta battle Satan. Then we gotta battle these fucking niggas in the flesh. This is actually war. That's right. Like niggas stop playing that fucking Call of Duty war. That's a fucking game. If you take that shit and put it in reality, that's what the fuck is going on right now. That's right. Uh, against Paul, right? When the Lord gave Paul the thorn in the side, he could have just said, oh Lord, you take this thorn away from me. And I was just saying, nah, my grace sufficient for these. So Paul could have just said, man, you know what? This thorn, I can't remember. Right. They could have used it as an excuse, which a lot of people are. Bitches make excuses, man. Women make excuses. Whenever you deal with a woman, you got women in or deal with side bitch, whatever the fuck it is. When you call them or talk to them, they always got some fucking excuse about they couldn't do this or couldn't do that. Only bitches make excuses. <laughs> In the heads, the elders of the camp, you know, the bar camp Chicago, brother said, hey, look, man, you just got clipped. Take off a week. Don't even come out. Brother still came out, man. When, when it takes a brother to have to tell you, hey, I, hey, you fucked up. Don't come. You know what I'm saying? You just go, ah, fuck it. I ain't gonna come. You know, ah, man. Our desire is to do this, man. And that's that faith, man. Come. To make that sacrifice for the Lord, man. Hey, man. Hey, yeah, you might. Like, no, it's like, yeah, I was going to say. Brothers don't have millions of fucking kids. All women if he's a part of them, all of them. Neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. And what's an example of being hot, man? Jeremiah, man. He said he wasn't going to do his work. But what did what he say, man? The word of the Lord was fire, man. And he had to get it out, man. It was 
was consuming fire and it was burning, man. Somebody grabbed it. Because he was mad at the Lord. He was mad. He was mad at the boy who was talking. He said, no, no, this is too much. He and me. I have to get this out. I wasn't going to say nothing, but I have to get this out. Hey, man, doing this work is like that bitch that you're trying to hit and get that nut off, man. After doing this work, it's a relaxation, man. That's like after busting your nut, man. Hey, man, what else, what else you gonna fucking do, man? What else you gonna do? What else is there to do, man? Hey, when I come out this work, I feel relieved, man. In my soul. Hey, hey man, because you know what? If, hey, man, if it wasn't for this work, man, I would be in jail, man. I'll be the, I'll be the smoke the nigga by now, man. I'll be the cutting nigga's fucking head off, man. Hey, I would, hey, I would win the police station with, with an AR and start murking. That's what they say, murking. You start putting people to death, man. Hey, man, I was going to drive my, my truck through the police station. Hey, I had a, when I came back from the war, I had a list of people. When I was over there, I had a list of people. And I actually... Hey, I, hey, hey, man. That's scary for the brother right there, y'all. He can pull it off. <laughs> You know, but the Lord, hey, the Lord didn't allow me to get no weapon. <laughs> I was so fucking broke, I couldn't even hardly get a sandwich, man. You know, and the Lord said, I got other plans for you, man. You know, but hey, man, it wasn't for this truth, man. You know, I'm here teaching, man. Hey, how you gonna release that pressure, man? Hey, if you don't really, hey, man, you can't, you can only put so much pressure in anything before it bursts, man. How else you gonna release that pressure? Verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Come on, man. Because you're lukewarm, man. Because, hey, hey you, you're not putting the Lord first and foremost, man. Just like the rest of just like these niggas out here, man. Hey, you'll put a blunt for first and foremost. You'll put, a, you'll put some skank first and foremost. You'll put, you'll put Jeezy. A little Wayne, first and foremost, man. What about the Lord? Hey, now niggas putting flat earth first and foremost, man. What about salvation? For real, that's going on. You shouldn't even say, you know, these fucking preachers, they always say first and foremost to the Lord, but then they don't let you acknowledge them. Yeah. Since you post that knowledge, you'll know all his things, man. They don't even do that. So they do all That's gonna come from a, a nation of murderers, killers, a nation of deviants, man. Baby, child, child molesters, man. But this, this is the most righteous race of people, it's man. Strange from the womb. That's hey, the hey, man, all the, hey, wherever they go, blood follows, man. <laughs> Death, <laughs> man. Yeah. Hey, some people don't. Hey, some people just start fighting them, man. As soon as they see them, yeah. Because they just say, oh, yeah, hey, they went over there. They, hey, they lost their land. No, it's like it. The brother on point because we had a guy who. Us once he was on the Wisconsin news because he was always outside listening. If y'all see the old old videos, he was a short dude who always used to talk fast and he used to just he don't want to. Yeah. He 
wasn't in our camps like it. He at was watching camp, it. Yeah. He was at the camp. He was at the camp for months. And we would strive back and forth. We was trying to like, oh, don't, don't do it, don't yeah. do this, don't do that. In the meantime, you gotta we wait. That's what we spirit. said about him, man. Spirit's ready for vengeance. He was, he was beating white bitches' ass, catching them in the alley, fucking them up. I think he tried to rape one bitch. He got caught up. But that just show, hey, but think about it. The Lord ain't gonna think about who when the Lord ain't gonna lock Jake up for doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you got Jake out here is, is, is mentally disturbed, basically, I can say. You got a lot of bloodthirsty Jakes. Yeah, yeah. And they, they looking for blood, man. And Betsy getting thick as shit. Betsy and Betty and all, and, and Susie, they getting thick as fuck around this motherfucker. So, so they finna be counting on these white bitches. Not even white bitches, just he, he saw a woman. And that's all his thing was. He, he, he said before he found out about the truth. He was like, hey, man, I used to beat up, beat, uh, I used to beat up Esau every goddamn day and never give him trouble for him. Stuff him out. Whatever he did, probably killed him, whatever he did, and never got him, you know what I'm saying, never uh, got in trouble for it. Never. And you can't do that, this and that. He's like, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna make something happen. He made some shit happen. But now he's locked up. He is, whatever. He's probably beating up this in the prison right now. That's because that, that shows that that's what's going on about Shemel Shido. On a small increment, when it gets to a wider scale, when the race fires come, ain't no stopping him. Get on, you said something. When that spirit get on Jake, to, to, to the death, man. Jake gonna it's take it to all levels, man. All new levels. Hey, man, we had the niggas, man. Hey, they they killed a nigga. The nigga, that, that, hey, they the nigga. Uh, they at the funeral service. The niggas that killed him came and shot up the funeral service, man. Shot up the funeral, man. That's killed somebody at the funeral, man. Hey, that did happen to one of my cousins. But that's what's happening right now today. If you don't understand it, that's what's happening now today. And, and another thing that was big in the Roman slacker, another no, thing that was big in the Roman Empire was um, they did a lot of like uh, uh, like they do now with chef, the whole chef and food and all that shit. People started getting more into uh, uh, food and, and all of that fashion of life. Was just, just basically eating and li I mean, living and eating. Yeah, bread and circuses, man. 